Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the area under the graph of this function from x equals 0 to x equals 4. And we're also going to uh, draw a picture of the graph and the area. Let's go ahead and do that first. So this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. So here we have x and here we have y. Okay, the graph of y equals x uh, looks something like this. It goes through the origin. <laughs> it's pretty bad. There we go. And we're going from 0 to 4, so maybe here is 0 and here is 4. And so we're looking for this area here. So you can actually find this area um, using geometry, and we'll do that at the end of the problem maybe. Uh, but for now, let's do it using calculus. So according to you know, calculus, <laughs> this is equal to the definite integral of our function x from left to right, so 0 to 4 dx. So let's go ahead and work this out. So we have the definite integral from 0 to 4 of x dx. So to integrate x, um, we simply use the power rule. There's a 1 here, so we just add 1 and divide. So x squared over 2. And then we draw our little bracket, and we go from 0 to 4. So we don't have to write the plus c because it's a definite integral. You'll know it's definite because you have these numbers here. These are called limits of integration. So this notation means you plug in the 4 first. So it'll be 4 squared over 2 minus, and then you plug in the 0. So 0 squared over 2. 4 squared is 16. So we get 16 over 2. And then we get 0 over 2. So we end up getting just 8. So the area should be 8. Area is 8. We can do it another way. We can use geometry. So recall that the area of a triangle is equal to 1 half base times height. So the base here is 4. So it's 1 half times 4. And the height is also 4, right? Because if you plug in 4 to the x, you get 4 for the y, right? 4 comma 4. So it's 4 times 4. So you end up with 1 half times 16, which is equal to 8. So in this case, you know, we didn't really need calculus, uh, but if it had been some other function, uh, then calculus would have been a better approach. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.